In this DB2 Web Query for I video, you will learn how to quickly auto-generate a synonym and a report using a new utility called Easy Report. A while back, I posted an article on my blog called To SQL or Not to SQL with Web Query. The link to it is down in the lower right-hand side, but the point of this was that you don't have to be an SQL programmer to use DB2 Web Query. There are graphical user interfaces like Info Assist and the new Designer in the new 2.3.0 version that auto-generate the necessary code, the necessary SQL, to access your data sources. But if you do know SQL, you can leverage that in a number of ways, and that is what Easy Report is all about. So if you are comfortable with SQL, Easy Report gives you a very fast way to generate an underlying metadata object called a synonym which a web query report is dependent on, as well as generating a report. And you can do this either over a table or a file or any SQL statement. Examples are creating a report over an IBM I service. These are part of the operating system that have been delivered over time to enable an SQL interface to get access to systems, metrics, and utilization information that was previously only available through CL commands or APIs. So the IBM I services are all based on SQL and that makes it very easy for us to generate reports using them. But you can also do a number of things in the SQL language that might be advantageous for you in your reporting environment. For instance, if today you were generating RPG programs to pre-process the data into work files or temp files and then generating another report over that output, you can simplify that through SQL techniques like subselects or common table expressions. Or you can deal with more difficult data relationship sorts of things through extensions into the SQL language that came in 7.3 called OLAP extensions, and I'll show you an example of that. But to get Easy Report, it is part of the product, but at version 2.2.1 PTF Group Level 9 or above, or the new version 2.3.0 Group Level 1 or above. And it is shipped as a utility uh, within an IBM supplied workspace or folder called DB2 Web Query Information. So the way to get to it is by navigating to that workspace called DB2 Web Query Information and then the utility subfolder. Before a Web Query administrator can use Easy Report, we have a one time setup task for that person, and it is the creation of a validation list object that we use in Easy Report to validate your credentials. So we have a CL command called create web query password, and if we click on that and hit F4, we need to name our validation list. So for this case, we'll just call it Easy Report Doug, and then give it your user ID and your password and Easy Report Doug Validation List is created. I'm going to use an example of how to leverage the power of SQL to address a complex data relationship requirement. In this case, Human Resources has asked for a report showing for any employee their salary compared to the two employees in the same department whose salaries are closest but below and closest to but higher than the employee of interest. In this case, we can leverage 7.3 OLAP function built into the operating systems called lag and lead. These are part of the OLAP SQL extensions that were added. And this becomes a very simple task, whereas if you were to do this, say, with an RPG approach, it might involve several uh, temp files or work files, multiple passes of the data to try to prep the data into your final result set. So you can see here, it's a very simple SQL statement. The keys are using the functions lead and lag. Uh, but also this concept of partition by because we want to do this within each department. So we're creating essentially a window by department. In this particular case, I'm using Access Client Solutions Run SQL Scripts, a great utility for just generating and testing your SQL. What I want to do is just have a confidence level that my SQL is working. So I'm just going to go ahead and run this and this is giving me back the raw data for each employee for each department and it looks like the lag and the lead functions work as expected when we're happy with the sql statement that's working the way we expect it to we can simply copy it 
from the ACS run SQL scripts window, come over to the web query information utilities subfolder and double click on our easy report. Easy report first prompts us for some information. So where do we want to put our new report? What do we want to call it? And then we can paste our SQL statement in the SQL statement prompt. And then we have to add our validation list. And then the last one there is if we want to hard code the output format in the report itself, or actually allow the end user to just select what the output should be at runtime. And I actually like that one better because it gives more flexibility to the end user. So let's just do that one and then click on the run button. And if everything goes well, we should have a new synonym and a new report within seconds. And here it is. If we close that window and navigate back to our demo workspace, you can see we have a new report here. So let's just go ahead and double click this, see what happens. We get our prompt for our output type. Let's just go ahead and specify HTML for now and then click on the run button. And here we go. So this looks exactly like the result set that came back from our SQL statement. That was really pretty easy and it generated a report and an underlying synonym for us, but we're probably not quite done yet. Quite frankly, we might want to clean this report up a little bit. So let's just close the window here. Let's go back to our workspace and right click and edit the auto generated report. This opens up the report in our authoring tool called Info Assist. And here's where we can alter the report to our heart's content. So we might want to change that header, maybe center it, give it a more meaningful name, add a footer. Uh, perhaps we want to change that color scheme from the, the heavy blue to something a little more friendlier to the eyes. Maybe we would like to make work department a filter or a prompt so that end users, when they run this report, uh, they can choose one or more departments to focus on. And then maybe this is something that human resources asks for on a monthly basis. So you want to perhaps schedule it to just run on a monthly basis automatically and put into an email or sent to a network drive. I did go ahead and make some of those changes. So let's just run the report again. Two of the changes were to add prompts when we run the report. One to select the work department of interest. The default is all departments, but you can see you can selectively choose which department. The other one was to choose the output type at runtime. So the end user has the option to take the default or override that default to just run the report to plain old HTML or PDF or a number of different Excel formats, PowerPoint and so forth. So let's just leave the defaults and click on the run button. And here's the enhanced report. The header is fixed up a little bit, a little clearer about the purpose of this report. We've added some additional columns and we could have added those columns into the SQL statement. These are derived columns and then just consumed them in the report. We could have added these derived fields into the synonym if we were going to use these in multiple reports or we could edit these and add these fields in at the report layer itself. But these additional columns are calculations, uh, fairly simple calculations. Maybe for each employee, we want to see the difference in salary between their salary and the two below and the two above. Maybe we also want to see the difference stated as a percentage. Uh, the little red cells there identified are traffic lights. So perhaps the business has a rule that says, hey, if an employee's salary is greater than 15% difference from the one below and the one above, or 30% difference in the two below and the two above, then that is an exception to how we want to relate the salaries within a department. So let's highlight those as problem areas for us. And again, you could schedule this report. You could even burst the report such that sections of the report only go out to applicable people with the information that they should see. So for instance, the manager of the department A00, when this report runs and gets sent out to them via email, they will only see the records associated with their department. For more information, you can refer to our easy report document on the DB2 web query wiki.